When you live with acrogenic pruritus, you learn that simple things like having water glide over your skin while you're swimming or walking through a rainstorm or going hard in the gym is something that you never really appreciate until you become allergic to doing it. And you guys ask me a lot. So how do you wash? I can't believe that using only water leaves you in pain. Our bodies are literally made up of 90% water. Well, I can show you what washing my face is like with an allergy to water, but if you want to see what washing the rest of my body is like, then you can watch my bath footage video. I filmed this in the morning, so I've got a bare face, but one that needs cleaning because I've just woken up. So I'm just taking out these little armband things. I actually use these to stop water from running down my arms and causing allergic reactions further down my arms when I'm washing my face. So I'm just gonna start washing my face. As you can see, I'm just gonna wet my face first. And then when I've covered my face in water and kind of rubbed that in a little bit, I'm gonna go back in and get some soap. So I use African black soap for my face, but it's a sensitive skin one. So so it's one that is formulated for eczema and psoriasis, which I personally find does help a little bit with the pain, but it really doesn't make a huge difference. So I kind of just lather my face in that and just use my hands to wash my face, just because the flannel can sometimes cause like extra irritation. So I kind of use it as little as I can. So when I'm happy that I've cleaned my face properly, I am gonna grab a flannel because I do find that it kind of helps to make sure that all of the soap and stuff is washed off. So when I'm actually washing my face, I'll avoid it, but I do use a flannel towards the end to make sure that I don't leave any like soap residue or anything on my face because that as well could irritate my skin because it's so sensitive. So once I've made sure that that's kind of gone, I'm now just rinsing my face with some more water. By this point, it is really sore. I don't know if you guys would have noticed my face while I was washing my face, but the pain did kick in while I was actually lathering the soap into my face. So at this point, I am pretty sore, so I'm being really careful and really soft. And as you can see, to dry my face after rinsing it, I'm only patting the towel over my skin. I never rub the towel against my skin because it just hurts. That's how sensitive my skin is, and just dabbing my entire face until it's dry. And then I'm taking a deep breath because that part's over and now it's time for the allergic reaction to get a little bit serious. So let's go back to my bedroom and deal with that. It is really starting to burn here. I'm fanning my face and I'm kind of like trying to cool it down. It, it isn't actually hot, but it just feels that way because of the burning sensation of the allergic reaction. I do really avoid scratching. Like I really don't try to scratch my face at all, especially with these long ass nails, but I do have to put pressure on certain parts of my face because it does bring like the slightest bit of relief in the same way that an itch does, but it just doesn't cause as much damage to my skin as itching would. So now you guys can see that I've put oil on my face. This is my Emelin spray, which is my prescribed spray with no water content in it. Um, it's the only thing that I can use to moisturize my skin. So I've just put that all over my face. I am starting to really suffer now. Like I'm touching my face a lot. The pressure of my touch against my skin kind of soothes me in a way because if I leave it alone I feel like the burning gets worse whereas applying the pressure sometimes can even reduce it for half a second and to me that's worth it because the burning is so intense. Please, because you can't see this, please don't underestimate how it feels. Like It literally feels like dipping your face in a bowl full of bees just ready to sting me up. They're just waiting and ready with their stingers out. See, you can see that I'm starting to lose it a bit here. I'm like shaking my head, I'm holding my face a lot. Like it hurts and there's nothing that I can do in this moment to stop it. I literally just have to wait it out. So as you can see, I'm trying to go on my phone, trying to scroll through Instagram and distract myself, but it doesn't work at all. Like it's a nice to try, but it never works like truly. Like I can never fully concentrate. Like if I start watching a video or something on my phone, I do not know what happens in that video. Like it's just to kind of keep my eyes busy and to keep my mind busy while I'm trying not to scratch my skin, basically. So by this point in the video, it's literally been about 30 minutes since I washed my face and I'm still struggling. The allergic reactions on my face can last however long, like they can last 20 minutes, they can last an hour. It really kind of just depends. I've got you in nice and close so that I can show you what my skin looks like after 
the reaction's been going for that long. I personally just thought that it was a little bit interesting just to see, but that is all visibly it gives you. Like, it just feels so bad. I'm falling into bed now just to recover. That is my usual process. The itching just takes it all out of me. It makes me feel sick. The allergic reaction can spread to like any area that's near where I have put the water. So at this point, it was spreading down my neck and my back and my arms. So I hope you found this video informative and I hope it gave you a little bit of an insight into what it's like washing your face when you have an allergy to water. As always, angels, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Smash a thumbs up if you enjoyed this idea. And as always, I will see you in the next video.